And good morning. I'm here at the Latino Arts Center, which is inside the United Community Center, where there is an exhibit commemorating Cesar Chavez and his impact here in Wisconsin. The exhibit is set to open to the public tomorrow, and we are inside it today. For those of you who are not familiar with Chavez, he did co-found the United Farm Workers Labor Union in the 1960s and spent his life advocating for migrant workers. Today, many people define Chavez by the essence of his movement. The program director of health research here at United Community Center says celebrating Cesar Chavez Day is an important part of preserving Mexican and Latino stories. The recognizing Cesar Chavez on his special day is recognizing the efforts of hundreds and hundreds of other people like him that worked in, in their small communities, in their camps, in their fields to help organize the voice of, 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 the, of the, the laborers that we didn't have before. And there are local events happening today to honor Chavez as well. Both are virtual. The first is being presented by the Waukesha County Technical College. Christine Chavez, who is the granddaughter of Cesar Chavez, will speak about her lifetime commitment to civil rights, the labor movement and community organizing. That event starts at noon. And then the Marcus Center's fourth annual Cesar Chavez event starts at five o'clock. There are no tickets or reservations required for this virtual event. Latino Arts is now preparing to unveil this new gallery that offers a glimpse into the world of the time of Chavez's work here in Wisconsin and the generations that he inspired. Arlene Rojas Castillo shares the story of one man who learned directly from the man himself and guided his own community along the way. Along the walls of Milwaukee's United Community Center, a new exhibit highlights the farm worker labor movement in Wisconsin. Full of photographs, paintings, and posters that share the story of the thousands of Latinos who fought for equal rights during the 1960s and 70s. Scattered among the treasures is one man's name, Jesus Salas. The founder of Obreros Unidos, the United Workers in Wisconsin, Salas's influence is unmistakable, with his roots paving the way for his future in activism. Well, I'm a third generation migrant worker. My father came here in the 1940s as a migrant worker. Uh, uh, um, uh, we started joining the migrant stream in the 50s and for the next 10 years as a migrant worker. Combing through the archives, Salas shares where the strength of the movement came from. Familias Unidas. One of the unique parts of the uh, Wisconsin Farm Workers Movement what is, was that the workforce was family based. That's why you see in the images here uh, families out in the, in the field. When I worked in the migrant workers, all my mother, my father, all the, my brothers, and I spent all day in the fields. And that's a, what, that, was the, uh, that was the working conditions at the time that I began to organize. And as the nation honors the life and legacy of Cesar Chavez, the noted civil rights activist and leader, Salas says his message lives on as new generations carry on the charge. We can have success if we organize families. If we can have a success if we build a sustainable community. And that's why he'll be an endearing figure for the rest of our generation and more, more generations to come. Reporting in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. And what an honor to hear from Salas himself. And Andrea, this exhibit opens to the public tomorrow. I do want to mention for as amazing as it is, this is just half of the exhibit. The other half is at MSOE in the Grauman Museum over on campus there. And it, you can see half of it here and half over there if you would like. The theme that they are trying to convey with this is exhibit, family, activism, and education. Wow, and this isn't just a history lesson. Cesar Chavez has a living legacy, and it's wonderful, like you said, Susan, that we have so many opportunities to learn more about that right here in Milwaukee.